Hey, what's up everybody? Tony here. Tonight, I wanted to take a few minutes and share with you all a two guitars that I currently have here in my possession. So I'm going to offer my two cents on them. Uh, the reason I decided to go ahead and do this right now is because uh, one of them is leaving tomorrow, so I'll, I will no longer have it uh, in my possession. So I wanted to at least take it, take advantage of this moment. Um, so I did a video uh, several months ago, maybe at, the, at some point at the beginning of the year, uh, talking about uh, three guitars that I had. One was a, a Sir Pete Thorne, one was an Ibanez AZ, and the other was a Kiesel Delos. Uh, this one showed up shortly after I did that video and this one has been my number one guitar and it basically knocked out the other ones. Uh, I have adored this instrument. It is an amazing playing guitar. Uh, it is a, you know, a Sir Modern Antique. It's an alder body, it's you know roasted maple neck, it's just a plain maple neck, kind of bare bones kind of thing. Has the new Wilkinson uh, trim that's top mounted, and it has an HSH, HSH pickup configuration with a five way selector switch, a volume and tone with a push pull to split these two pickups that sound absolutely amazing. Uh, this one has a modern elliptical two neck profile and a compound radius of 10 to 14, 24 stainless steel jumbo frets, or so seven pounds, four ounces ish. And just a delight to play and sounds great. And these are the SS, uh, the, the Sir SSV pick plus pickup, ML standard and SSH. And this, they're, they're kind of hot. This is a 17K and this is a 12K. And I don't know what the uh, ML is. I think it's maybe around a six or seven ish, but they sound great. Uh, I've had uh, you know great luck with them, and I really really like them. So this has been my number one guitar, my favorite guitar in here. Um, there is one little quirk that I have with it, and it is uh, really it's just that this the design of this guitar, the lower horn here, uh, is low is really close to the body. And if I'm playing classical style, if I'm playing up like this, um, my hand hits this lower horn, and sometimes um, I just I have a little bit bigger hands, but my fingers and my ring, and of course it doesn't matter because it's it's a relic, you know. And I don't think it's scratched at any anyways, but uh, it's uh, you know it's just the lower horn here is a little close to the body. Uh, not enough for me to not like the instrument. That's just being hypercritical of. The, the instrument. Uh, it's otherwise fantastic. One of my favorite all-time guitars right here. Um, fretwork too. Outstanding. A++ on the fretwork. Uh, you don't know where the the, uh, the neck ends and the fretboard and frets begin. It's so smooth. So <clears throat> that is the Sir uh, Modern Antique. Uh, excellent craftsmanship. Absolutely love this guitar. So that's the, that one. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned this either, it, 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 but it has a modern elliptical two neck profile. There's one that's actually thicker than that one, which that is my preference, but they didn't have one. And I, I, I could have ordered one, but I didn't. Uh, Eddie's had this guitar and I just, I jumped on it. And I like that neck profile anyways. I used to own two uh, other Sir Moderns and I had to sell those, but, um, uh, that's my sir. And then we have a Tom Anderson uh, Guardian Angel here. And this one is, it's the same type of guitar. Uh, it's just, you know, it's constructed a little bit different and it's, you know, it's made out of different wood. Uh, this one's a little bit lighter. This one weighs 6.14 pounds, or 6 pounds 14 ounces. And uh, has a swamp ash body with a pit guard. And you know it's, it's an HSS uh, uh, pickup configuration. Um, and as far as the the uh, bridge goes, this is just one, one whatever their vintage style bridge is. And uh, these are Tom Anderson pickups, and it's got a push pull here on the tone. And I just got this guitar today, and I've been ripping on it almost the whole day uh, and messing around with it. But uh, this is like a kind of a boost uh, switch here uh, and a five-way selector switch um, love the pickups they sound fantastic 
the, the neck profile on here, this roasted maple neck profile, is a little bit different than the Sir. Uh, this, this particular one is a, a little bit thicker. The Sir is 0 .800 at the first fret and at the 12th to 13th fret it's uh, .850, whereas this one's .810 or 20. Um, can't remember. And then um, here it is a little thick. It's a little thicker. It's a, about 0.880, I think, is what it is. So 0.810 or 20 to 0.880 uh, right here. I think that's what this is. This one, either way, this one's thicker. Uh, the shoulder, uh, this one's more C shaped. The shoulder on the Sir is a little wider uh, than this one. Uh, this neck, though, feels a little wider and deeper. Um, and the, uh, the front work is the same. Uh, I mean, it's just the same quality. This one has a 12 to 14, so you're 12 to 14, so it's basically like you just have a little, little bit of fall away on the, uh, on the fretboard here, which is great. Another top mounted uh, uh, bridge here. The, uh, and they're both relic. I don't know which, which they call this level of relicking. I think this might be the, the highest level that they do because uh, they don't do a very strong, uh, overly relicked guitar, uh, that Tommy Anderson that is. And then you've got this really nice uh, two bolt. Uh, it's like a cup that this sits in here. So you just have the two bolts uh, locking it in. It's not going anywhere at all. Uh, the cutaway here in the access is better than the Sir. In my hand, uh, the problem I had is resolved with this particular guitar. So <clears throat> they sound uh, they sound a little bit different, but they are, are um, and they feel a little bit different, but they're very similar. Uh, this one has 24 stainless steel uh, jumbo frets on here. So um, quality wise. This, they're the same. Um, they're just a little bit different, you know, design. And as far as which one I like better, I guess it would depend on how one is specced out. Uh, I do prefer the specs on this one a little bit, and I mean a little bit. If that one had the modern elliptical three neck, the only th negative I could say is the the con the uh, the the cut out, cutaway here on the lower horn. You know, there's you can get this one with a thicker neck or a different kind of neck profile. You can do that as well with the Sir. So you can spec these out how you like, but the, the build quality seems to be ex the same. You know, as far as sounds go, I like both the sounds that I'm getting out of them. Uh, this is really my first time owning a Tom Anderson uh, guitar. But I was able to pick this one up and I uh, uh, really it's still in a trial period but uh, you know comparing it to the Sir uh, the neck feels a little thicker th on that one than this one and I prefer that so it just it's, it just has to do with uh, you know the way this one's specked out like I had mentioned but um, this one has actually found a new home and I am I'm actually a little bit sad about it because uh, I wish I didn't have to sell. I wish I could keep both of these for a little while. Uh, I posted this one actually on Reverb and it almost immediately sold so I, I, I didn't think it would sell that quickly. Um, um, maybe I should have set it at a higher price but anyways but these are fantastic guitars. You can't go wrong with either one of them. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, If you ever get a chance to try out either one of these brands uh, it's gonna be a win that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video uh, that's just my two cents on these two instruments but uh, this is the one I'm gonna keep or at least I think I'm gonna keep it I still have a few days uh, with it and uh, if if not I will probably order one of these uh, just slightly over the sir uh, because of the uh, lower horn here and really I think it just boils down to that for, for me personally uh, for a modern style 24 fret guitar um, and I might even order a thicker neck if I uh, decide to uh, 
send this one back and just uh, put in an order on one of these. So, but anyways, that's my two cents. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative enough for you. And uh, let me know what you think. Ever played either of these? What are your thoughts on them? I'd love to hear that. Uh, please post comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And I will talk with you guys later. Y'all keep rocking. Peace. God bless. Till next time.